What would a widespread Ebola outbreak look like in the future, should one happen here? My grandmother was born in 1898. She was living on the Lower East Side of New York during the Great Spanish Flu epidemic. And she told me how trucks were going up and down the streets of the slums of the Lower East Side loaded with bodies. That when she went to church, the stench of the dead from the coffins that were stacked up six, seven feet high besides the, the churchyard from the decaying bodies, it will look like the 14th century. It will look like sometimes, you know, people joke about what the plague was like and such in the 14th century of Monty Python. But in reality, it will look like hell. It wow. will be hell on earth. We could watch the death rate from Ebola right now is about 50 to 70 percent. You said that they picked up the bodies as they would collect garbage. Yes, they were actually shipped. My grandmother told me how they were actually literally going up and down the streets saying, you know, bring out your dead. If anybody's died, bring them out. But you this know, was the great influenza of 1918, 1919. A hundred million people dead? More than were killed in combat in World War I. Infinitely more. But here's what they said. Oh, it's just a little influenza. They even had poetry about it. Influ yeah. Influenza. Yes. Something yeah. like that. That's where not, they all fell down. The, the ring around the rose. Actually, that goes back to this the 14th book, right? century. Isn't See, it? That is a remarkable book. This book here is so astonishing. But here's what they said. Don't worry. It's not coming to our town. Don't worry. Yeah. Just, it's just flu. It's just influenza. Now, with social media that we have today and connectiveness, uh, across the country, I mean, anyone else can pick up our phone, reach our children within a matter of seconds. We, we get news from all around the world, but also within our social circles. Let's project a million dead, two million dead. How would that shatter this country and shut it down? And, and when we did our last recording, we were talking about how many of you have enough supplies on hand to get through two to three months of quarantine? Have you actually figured out a family plan that if it starts to go down, how do I quarantine my family and then not have to run down to the corner store every other day to get more food? Let me see the hands of this audience. Yesterday, it was amazing. How many here have enough to be quarantined for, what, two to three months? Would you raise your hand? Well, I wish all America was like that because you, you know, guys that's, are remarkable. That is almost that's 100% amazing. of this audience. That's you guys are amazing. Conference. They are smart. 